how many years, days, months did you spend trying to get out of medicine or thinking about getting out of medicine before you actually got out? Every day. <laughs> I, the, the, the thing with medicine is that I always think, all right, I'll get out of medicine. What will I do? Because I have to have a choice. And uh, I remember when I, 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 I finished medical school in 2000. And I borrowed money from my dad in order to make a chicken farm. I did a chicken farm, yeah. I, I bought 10,000 <laughs> chicks, and I said, like, I'm going to do I, 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 I Because there was a break between my... On med- the side? Yeah, yeah. But there was a break, a like, few months before, like, me finishing my medical school and me getting the residency. And there was also the army. So I had, like, a space to do something. So it's like, maybe I will do go into my, do something to... Like to invest money into it, and uh, yeah, I, and I made my, my my dad lose a lot of money on that, and I felt so ter- terrible about like making him lose the money, and I said, all right, maybe it's just medicine now, and I went into medicine, and I just went into the trajectory of being of like being a, a resident doctor, like to be an attending doctor, and I just accepted that as my destiny, be- but in, in in inside of me, I I didn't want to do medicine but i because i but also inside of me i didn't feel that i was a good doctor i did all of like i i did the, my usmle my uh, uh, my rcs the, the british one and i i was a, a, a an honor student and i had like a residency and everything but i i, I didn't like it and i and i didn't feel i always say i was a heart doctor i was a heart surgeon but my heart wasn't in it so um you can't do anything um, joyfully mm. like that. Yeah, yeah. It's impossible. Yeah, so so when, when I did the YouTube videos and it went viral and I had like this television uh, deal, it's like, yeah, that's my chance. But even then, I didn't leave medicine right away because my mom said, like, don't leave medicine. So, all right, how about I take a, a leave of absence for a year and see how this plays? Because at the time, I also had like, a, I was accepted in a fellowship in Cleveland and I was going to travel. And uh, so I had the television deal. I had my residency. In, I had not my residency. I had my position in the university in Egypt, and I had the the fellowship in 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 Cleveland. So I said, like, I'm going to put medicine on hold for a year and see how it goes. By the second year, I I renewed for a second season. I had a lot of money. I said, good. Now I can leave medicine. So I resigned. Do you remember <laughs> any of the details about where the light went off or where there was maximum illumination on something swelling in you? Here's my way out of the prison. Like you say, when the YouTube uh, show got popular, but yeah. are there any details where a light goes on and you're like, oh, this is the path. I must chase this. It was the second season when I did the live audience. And I was it's just like the, the, the show was like huge. And it was so huge and so big that you think, oh, it's never going to get canceled. You had this. <laughs> uh, a year and a half later, it did. But, uh, <laughs> but at this time, like, good, now I'm, I'm, ha- I'm earning that much money. And it's, all, it's weird because a big part of it was actually like a, uh, it's a financial decision. If you're earning that much money, so I don't need medicine anymore. I, I, it, 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 it is very basic. It can be as basic as this. Maybe I just needed something else to provide me with financial stability that I don't have to stay in medicine for it. Maybe the only reason I was in medicine because it was just a known path, a guaranteed path into financial stability, and I didn't have any other option. And when I did, I left it. And I know it sounds very basic and very uninspiring, but maybe that's the reason. What was your assessment of the high end of what the show could become when you started it? Like you thought you were creating what to what end? I all, uh, when, I, when I started it, I said like, oh, I want to be like a, a, a version of Jon Stewart in the Middle East. And I remember after the first, show, first season, the first season was a recorded uh, small television show. It didn't have live audience. It didn't have that dynamic... Uh, uh, Energy that the budget. The, What's the budget for? Oh, then the budget was very small. It's nothing. Um, and but when we when we were about to renew the second season, I went to the to New York to shadow the production team of the Daily Show, and John caught me on the show. And I remember after as I was leaving, and I told him, "I'm trying to do a live audience, and I if I do, would you please come to my show?" And he did. 
and when he did, he attended my show. It's on YouTube, by the way. You can find the, show, the whole show. And, and John was amazing. He came to Egypt and he said, I never thought that like a Jewish guy from New Jersey would have this kind of a, uh, a, a reception in the middle of Cairo. People were going crazy. And on that, that day, and when I kind of fulfilled my promise to him and he fulfilled the, his promise to me, that for me was like the peak of my career in Egypt. I said, like, they can cancel the show now. I don't care. And uh, I, I, I really thought that the, the, we had a chance. We did something that is very unique in the Arab world. It was watched not by the Egyptians, but all over the people in, in the Arab world, people, Arab people in diaspora. And it was uh, something very beautiful. And uh, I, I, felt, I felt very sad when it ended. And at the same time, I felt very relieved because the kind of stress that I was living in day in, day out. I was very depressed. I, the, the, the day that I got the phone, it's like, we cannot have this show anymore. We're very sorry. I, I kind of like I had a sense of relief. Oh, I don't have to go to the office next week. I don't have to go to the stress of trying to produce a very unique episode better than the one that we just did because I, it is just a con continuous stress. And it's very weird that like I left medicine because of the stress, because I didn't like it. And I went to a, 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 a line of work that I thought it was nice, but I was also stressed out. So it just, again, it is the duality of the stress of the chilling out that I have to deal with all the time.